Vineland, yeah. I'm pretty much what's left of it. What's up guys, it's Octius Gamer. We are back playing Rage 2. We found a doctor, y'all. I've been having my good self a good time with this game, man. Sorry for moving the mic around like that. Just trying to give it a different position now. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Who's talking? You? Dr. Okay, Anton the guy to talk. Genius scientist with a shifty past. Original archist. Pre-Apophis. They said he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters. Joined the cause. Fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's... an impressive setup, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes. My lab suffices. <laughs> My research used to be more it up on a mechanically inclined, but over time the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Mm -hmm. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. <laughs> I was her own. That guy's weird. But they killed her. They destroyed everything dead. I ever knew. Oh no. She was formidable. I was always hoping to, but alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature, all tech and armor and guns and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then, it was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Gun. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The diaper. The project was flies flying around his body. Action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa! Did you say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can. Better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Eco-Pod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Ew. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it, to siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm, yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. 
Yeah. Wait a minute. You knew I was gonna volunteer to do it, right? Yes. Tricky. All right, where's this thing now? I'm like, I, I'm not even falling on it. See, I'm like all over the place with this. I'm not, I'm like doing all their missions in one. <laughs> As they come, because I'm supposed to be here on this mission now. But we talking to him, so let's go do that mission. And we'll find it down here. Oh, look at, look at, you see that? That's a very long way. But check this what we got here. Uh, one person, two person, and there's a little robot on his shoulder. So much is going on right now. Okay, what's going on? What you got for me? We're going to fast travel to the nearest point, then we're going to be on our way. Oh boy. Man, everything's so far from here. No fast travel in point. I always remember to cut this for you guys. Cause look like we have a long way. Maybe I need to Maybe I need to, I, I'm thinking Oh I did have that flying thingy, where is it? If the trip is a pain, then I'll cut. But if not, we'll keep it going. Okay, there we go straight there. Trade posts. And we'll just do some missions as we pass them. I love this uh, device, man. Uh oh. No. I saw the road, man. Don't be like that. Damn it! I should have done this job myself. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. Well, at least we found the predator. Dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office and we'll talk. Ah, that's what we need to do. Thank you very much. We just need to go do her thing. Uh-huh. Ah, we can fast travel there. Good, good. He took off in his copter. Damn it! I should have done this job myself. What the hell? Oh, I fast traveled right back where I was. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. Well, at least we found the predator. Dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office and we'll talk. Don't tell me I'm leaving the world, man. I'm here. 
Okay, so we'll just go do her one time. And see what she wanted to talk about. Right about this. Let's take this shortcut and hopefully it don't boot me back out the game again. Wicked man, wicked. Elevator going up on a Tuesday. It's late. I seriously need to go to my bed now. But one more game. What have you got? What a so, I drove that scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decry oh, sorry. Where is this? What are we doing? Ooh. New tree. I like that. And I got plenty of points too. And I'm gonna be crap with less chemical. Oh, that's great, that's perfect. Can't be uh, less yeah, let's go. All the second ones. Hmm, ricochet oh ricochet, I like that. Oh, okay, we all out now. Oh, your mission is completed. Ah. Prep Prepping the predator tank will take a while. In the meantime, I suggest you get busy with my operation to clear out the roads and make it safer out there. That'll create more opportunities for projects. Okay. Oh, now we can move on to the next one. Great. Guys, thank you for watching, man. I'll see you in the next gameplay.